Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Haskell Intro to I.O. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using a Haskell ID that I'm developing called Hexgrip. You can go to hexgrip.com and start using it immediately in your browser, or you can follow along with any other ID that you like. Let's get started. So I have a simple Hello World Haskell program here. All it does is print the string Hello World to the screen. Let's run it. And there it goes. It prints Hello World. Now let's say I want to add an additional line to print after I print hello world. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to try printing another line. But we get this error here. It's saying couldn't match expected type and this really complicated type error that I'm not even going to try and understand. The problem is that in Haskell, every function can consist of only a single expression. But here I have two expressions. So it's not clear how to fix this. If I try putting like a semicolon, maybe, no, that doesn't work. So the solution to this is to use something called a do block. So I'm going to use the do keyword right here, starting at the function. And now I'm going to put each of these print lines on their own line, and I'm going to make sure to indent them the same amount. Haskell is white space sensitive, similar to other languages such as Python. Uh, let's just change this to hello again. And now it seems like uh, we don't get any errors. Let's see what happens when we run it. It prints hello world, hello again. So this is how we do multiple statements in a single function in Haskell using this do block. Um, let's make it more interesting. There's a function in Haskell called get line. What it does is prompt the user for input and then the user can type in a string. So if I just put that in the middle here and now we run the program, what happens is it says it executes the first line, prints hello world, and now it's waiting for me to get some input for the get line. So I'm just going to say hi there. And now it executes the third line, hello again. So this isn't very interesting because it's ignoring the string that the user entered. So let's change it. Instead of saying hello world, we'll print uh, a question. What's your name? And then uh, we're going to say, uh, after we get the name from the user, we're going to want to say hello name. And to make it a bit nicer, instead of put string line, I'm just going to use put string function. What that's going to do is it's going to leave the cursor up here instead of going to a new line. It'll just look a bit nicer. Let's see now how this looks like. So now it says, what's your name? And the cursor still remains here. I can say bit and it says hello name. So now what I want to do is actually print the name that was entered. So I need to store the result of this line in some variable. So I'm going to say name equals, and it's giving me an error right here. Let's see what the error says. It says parse error on input equals, perhaps you need a let in a do block. Example, let x equals five instead of x equals five. Okay, let's try that. I'll do a let name equals get line. And now it seems to be working. Now I'm going to want to print the name variable instead of uh, the instead of just the, the, the word name. But now we get an error. It's saying couldn't match expected type list of char with actual type IO string. Okay, so when you're in a do block in Haskell, what you usually want to do is not use let uh, equals, but you usually want to use this arrow syntax in order to save results into a variable. Uh, it's just part of the do syntax. And now I don't get any errors. And if I run it, it says, what's your name? Bit, hello bit. Now it seems to work. Cool. Um, let's make this program a bit more organized. Instead of doing the string concatenation right here together with the printing, I want to save this to a variable. So I'm going to save this to a variable called message, and I'm going to say message equals um, that expression here. But now I get two errors. It's saying couldn't ex couldn't match type list with IO, and the second error couldn't match type char with list of char. So the problem here is that in this line, I actually do want to use the let syntax and not this arrow. So let's change it to let equals. And now everything works. Let's just verify that it's working. What's your name? Bit. Hello, bit. Okay, so how come in this line I'm using this arrow to save the result into a variable, but
But in this line, I'm using a let and an equals to save the result into a variable. Well, the answer is that in this line, I'm performing IO. Get line is an IO action. And so in order to tell Haskell, okay, I want you to perform this IO and save the result of the IO, use the arrow. But in this line, I'm not doing an AIO. I'm, with, I'm doing what Haskellers sometimes call a pure computation. So when you do a pure computation, you can just directly save the result using equals. So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and stay tuned for future videos. Goodbye.